productions and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello everybody, I'm Cecil Chandler and welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Amanda's a little under the weather, but she's getting better. And I hope everybody's having a great day. You know what it is, don't you? It's Friday and that means there's a lot of great things happening on the show today and everybody's getting ready for the weekend. But first off, we want to find out about the weather and how it's going to be. Well, happy Friday to you. Let's look at our North Myrtle Beach sky cam right now. Well, rain was just falling on it. You can see some of the raindrops on it right now, but also can see the blue sky in the distance. The clouds will be decreasing through the afternoon hours now looking at live Doppler 15,000. Not too much happening for our inland areas really west of I-95 and nothing happening. And then the precipitation is starting to move offshore now. That band just moving through the ports. It's portions of Ori and the eastern portions of Georgetown County is starting again to move offshore. So as far as the rain goes not looking at all that much for the rest of the afternoon. One thing that we are seeing though are winds starting to pick up. Just a minute ago we were seeing a wind gust of 30 miles per hour there in Florence. Even along the border belt those winds are just about 20 to 25 miles per hour and these aren't going to let up in the next hour or so. These are going to continue to increase through the afternoon hours behind the front. Check out your temperatures. So this morning at 430 in the morning Myrtle Beach was sitting at 67 degrees and right now it's at 68. When you have that cloud coverage temperature really don't fluctuate all that much. Temperatures right along the border belt in the upper 60s. Some areas checking in at 70, 72 in Bennettsville and 70 degrees right now in King Street. Now let's look at future cast showing you the clouds, rain and the wind gusts. Of course, well now our wind direction is coming from the north, so the cooler air is going to start building in. As far as the rainfall goes, it does move offshore. An isolated shower is possible. Nothing widespread or severe though. And our winds, well, those are going to stick around as I mentioned. And then the cloud coverage that will be decreasing here in the next hour or so. So it's going to be a gorgeous afternoon. Again, that cloud coverage will start decreasing a little bit cooler out there. We will have our nor our winds coming from the north at 15 to 25 miles per hour. High temperatures across the PD and along the border belt will be in the low 70s. As you head toward the immediate coast, just about 70 degrees for our temperature this Friday afternoon. Your Grand Strand seven day forecast 70 degrees for Friday and again that rain chance will start diminishing heading through the latter parts of the afternoon going into the evening hours by Saturday heading into Sunday finally back to normal temperatures fall like weather and abundant sunshine will overtake our weather pattern. Your inland seven day forecast 72 for your Friday 67 for Saturday and while we really don't have a big temperature jump even starting out your work week high temperatures just around 70 degrees. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. And welcome back, everybody, to Carolina Company Live. I want to tell you a little something coming up this weekend. We've got a car show, of course, coming up, and that's going to take place tomorrow. And uh, it's at the uh, Crossroads Community Church in Conway, uh, located out on 701. The event's open to all makes and model of cars and trucks. It's a free cruise in that starts at 2 p.m. now, not 11, it's 2 p.m. and runs until 5 p.m. The public is invited to come out and check out the cool cars and trucks, 55 Chevy. And uh, don't forget, the cruise in starts at 2 o'clock, Crossroads Community Church, 701, nice 64. That's the one we do our opening for our show our show in right there. All right, let's talk about something else that's coming up Sunday. They had to cancel it because of a hurricane, of course. The 17th annual Lip Rippin' Chili Olympics Chili Cook-Off. To benefit the Grand Strand Surf Riders Foundation will be held on Sunday, November 6th at the Hot Fish Club. Uh, that's right down across from Russell's Raw Bar. You know what that is. Starts at 11 and runs up until 6 o'clock. We got live music, local arts, crafts, vendors, and a lot of kid stuff, food trucks, and of course, what everybody comes for, chili. I'll be there judging again this year. All right, let's find out a little bit about today. Today is Friday, November 4th, and this is National Candy Day. <laughs> and listen to this. And it's also National Donut Day tomorrow, but we're going to celebrate it early. All right, birthday's today, 1937. Loretta Swit. She is 79 years old. You remember her, Major Houlihan, uh, in the TV show MASH from 72 to 83. She was also in the movie Race with the Devil. 
1960, Kathy Griffin. There she is, 56 years old, a, a Emmy, uh, Emmy Award winning comedian. Sitcom Suddenly Susan from 96 until 2000. She was also in Pup Fiction. Do you remember that? 1969, everybody loves this guy. I don't know why. Matthew McConaughey, 47 years old, movies Magic Mike. Contact, he won Academy Award. Uh, no, he was in Academy Award for Dallas Buyers Club, he won. And he's also the wedding planner. Now you see him doing all the commercials where he falls in a pool. I don't understand that part. All right, today in history, let's go back to 1952. Eisenhower, President Eisenhower, was elected the 34th president, beating Adlai Stevens. 1980, another election. Ronald Reagan, a Republican, beats President Jimmy Carter by a landslide. All right, from the know-it-all department, you ready? All right, anybody know why Henry Ford only used black on his Model T's? Tommy, you ought to know. Anybody know that? No. <laughs> All right, it's because the black paint was available at the time and it was the fastest drying. So he could push the cars through and get them done and get them out and sold. How about that? All right, we got a lot coming up today. Stay with us. Amanda's under the weather, but we still got a great show coming up. Be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, the Cherry Grove Surf Club has made uh, their third independent surf film. All right, it's uh, premieres at the Grand uh, 14 Market Commons on November 10th at 7 p.m. We're expecting about 300 to attend. And, uh, you know, we're going to find out a little bit about it. We've got Luke and Brock with us now. And Luke, you know, tell me a little bit about this movie. If you can imagine a group of surfers that don't have a really good filter yeah. all get together and make a film about <laughs> Cycling, yeah. surfing, and mermaids. That's what this film is. You got mermaids in the film? Mermaids are in the film. All right, now show me that camera over there you got. Let's see that camera. All right, we have this old school <laughs> camera. Yeah. And uh, the, we pretend it like we filmed the movie with this camera. Oh, and then okay. we use filters to make it look like that. Oh, but, but you're so. actually using a good camera to show it. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, no, high quality. All right. Yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now, all right, now Brock, tell me a little bit about the funds from this. What is it going to go to? It's going to Adaptive Surf Project. Uh, Luke and I and some friends of ours started the Adaptive Surf Project in order to help folks like myself that have disabilities to surf more often. Um, I have an Adaptive Surf clinic that I run called Wheel to Surf, but uh, Adaptive Surf Project is one of the supporters of that event, and they have all they what we've done is taken it one step further, is not just to take people surfing. Uh, once a year, but to be able to surf year round, and and my my best friend here has, has been able to help me do that, and we've we've gone all the way to the world championships with it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, now how long is the film? How long are you looking? Uh, the film is about seventy minutes. Uh -huh. It's a uh, you know a typical length for a film. The I would say the format is a mockumentary, uh, and uh, it's it's funny, it's light, uh, it's uh, you know I think everyone should, will enjoy it. Uh, it's uh, you know a little bit edgy sometimes, but do we we're, you know to to be funny and and um, it's just basically a celebration. We try to get all the local uh, artistic people and creative people together and just not turn down any ideas. And uh, we came up with something really fun. And I think everyone November 10th at Stone Theaters, uh, Grand 14 Market Commons, 7 p.m. Uh, come out. Uh, it's it's 10 bucks uh, and. We would just love to have a, a great turnout, and it really, it's just a celebration of our uh, wonderful surf culture and, and here in, in this area. You know. Uh, well, that sounds good. Yeah, the, All right, plans next year for another one. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and the proceeds will go to benefit us the directly okay. that that surf and we we create surfboards and give them away and we thank uh, you for coming yeah, thank you bro good to see yeah, you again too you. my friend thank you so much for All having us right. we got more coming up stay with us we'll be right back.
And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, coming up this uh, weekend, I mean, no, it's next weekend, the 35th Annual Dickens Christmas Show set, and it's going to be a big event. And uh, there are a lot of charities that get involved in that and they can make money from it. And, uh, right, I got Johnny with me now, and this is the, we're talking about the, the re, the, Festival of Reeves, is that right, Johnny? That's right. And y'all, the Lions Club put it, you know, right? Wrong. Wrong. The Kiwanis Club of Myrtle Beach. It was a club. I it was, was close. A club. I was close. Kiwanis, okay. Yeah, Myra Starnes, who started the Dickens Festival 35 years ago, yeah. she, um, it's a regular vendor type relationship, but she gives half the space to a bunch of local charities, and they're called the festivals. So there's many of these. We do the Festival of Reeves at the Kiwanis Club. And it's our, our largest fundraiser. We hope to raise uh, about ten thousand dollars. Wow! And we, there are some of the Reeves there now. Who makes all the Reeves in all, Johnny? Well, we get local sponsors to do yeah. it. So local business people um, decorate the Reeves. We also get a lot of gift certificates to go with the Reeves. Yeah. So when you bid on them, you get the wreath plus all the stuff that's listed on the sheet that goes with the wreath. Oh man, that is neat. So y'all make ten thousand dollars from this. This is your biggest fundraiser. This I'm is sure. our biggest one. All right, now this one here, who made this one? This one's made by um, Lightest to Let. Uh-huh. And um, property management company here locally. Yeah. And uh, they did a great job. This is actually, it's not lit up now, but it's got lights on. It's really beautiful when it's plugged in. All right, now how can people bid on these things when they go to the Dickens show? So you have to come to the show. Right. The uh, bid sheets are on, um, are on the door right beside the wreath. Oh, and okay. it's a silent bid. You write your name, phone number, the amount. And on Sunday at 5 o'clock, we see who's the highest bidder, and that's when you can pick up your wreath. That's right. So that's pretty good. All right, y'all been involved in it how long? You know, I don't, don't think we were here from the very beginning. Yeah, but y'all been here a long time. A long right? time. Well, I appreciate you, John. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Cecil. Don't forget, coming up the Dickens Show next weekend. It's a big event. Check it out. We'll be back. we got a lot more coming up. to Carolina and Company Live. You know, not too long ago, uh, Hyatt GMC and uh, St. James High School Booster had a big fundraiser, and they raised a lot of money doing test drives out there, and that's what's so cool. We got Jordan and Kim with us, and of course Tommy from GMC are with us now. All right, now we're going to start with we're going to start with you, Jordan. Now tell me a little bit about how all this worked. So they had um, Hyatt Buick GMC was gracious enough to uh, let us do a fundraiser where if we had 500 people come out to test drive the cars that we would get a $10,000 grant towards our athletic system and different equipment for our school. Oh, how many people did y'all have? Um, I know we had over 500. It, I don't know the exact number, but we had a lot come really? out. So, yes, sir. So we got the grant too. All right. Kim, well, I, what was your part in this? Uh, just the come out and be here. And you were just like there to help them? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's good. Did you get test drive one? Mm -mm, no, sir. I, I wish. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, tell me, how'd y'all come up with this deal? I mean, it's a pretty cool deal. Uh, last year, uh, Buick uh, came to us and uh, locally, and uh, we reached out to uh, St. James, and uh, we've had the opportunity the last two years to uh, give around $17,000. That is amazing. And this year they got? 10,000. 10,000. They made the presentation earlier. Uh, homecoming. Uh, homecoming at the homecoming game. Yes. 10,000. Now, what's, the, can't, what, what's this money going to be used for? Um, we're going to try to put it towards like sports and athletics and stuff like soccer and yeah. basketball and football and all those things like that and golf and everything. Well, they need a lot more money. And, you know, a lot of schools just don't get as much money as they need in there and all. But uh, who's, who came up with this idea? What, two years now y'all been doing it? Yeah, three? two years we've been yeah. doing it. Uh, we reached out to the Boosters, the Shark yeah. Club, and uh, they jumped on, and uh, uh, it's, it's really been fantastic for the students and uh, the community that comes out and uh, does what they do to test drive the cars. Well, that's amazing. You know, you got so many students, all you got to do is tell your parents to come drive, and you'll get $10,000. <laughs> right. That's right. Exactly. If your parents don't come, it's their fault. Right? <laughs> yes, sir. We thank all y'all for being here, and congratulations on picking up $10,000. Tommy, good yes, job. Tell, thank you, Cecil. Tell Freddie y'all did a good job. Well, I appreciate it. All right. We got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Amanda's under the weather, but I'm here to kind of carry the show on today. All right. The second annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Beach Walk is set for Saturday, November 5th. That's tomorrow at the Crown Reef Resort in Myrtle Beach. And Julia's here with us to talk all about this event. Now, tell yeah. us about it. So we're very excited. This is our second year, like you mentioned, and 
we had a good turnout last year, but we're hoping to get two to three times more this year. And it's to raise money, like you said, for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer campaign. And we all know, you know, people who have been affected by breast cancer. So this is really close to a lot of people's hearts. And our company just really wants to help out the community as much as we can with this walk. And it's going to be five kilometers on the beach, so it's a great location. Now, roughly how far is that from where, you know, from starting where y'all going to be starting at the Crown So Reef. we're going to be starting and ending at Crown Reef. It's going to make a loop on the beach. Loop on the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we talk, it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. You might yes. need to wear a little coat. It's going to be a little cool. But it's going to be sunny. It's going to be sunny. <laughs> Do you remember what y'all raised last year? I think it was near ten thousand dollars. That is great. Mm -hmm. Now, all right. Now, the people that sign up, can they sign up that morning? What yes. time we can start off? Yes. So registration starts at eight a.m. It's twenty-five dollars per person, and the walk starts at ten. Twelve and under can walk for free, and breast cancer survivors can walk for free as well. And everyone who pays the twenty-five dollar registration fee will get a free T-shirt. Free T? Is it pink? Yes. Of course I believe it's so. Be pink. It's been it it's been be. undercover as to oh. what the design is. Okay. Well, how long how long have you been involved in this? Um, we've been helping out with making strides in another breast cancer campaign for a few years now. So this is just our second year with the walk. So we're just excited for it to grow and just get bigger each year. Well, it's got to make you feel good being a part of something that does something so yes, worthwhile. Yes, it's great. It's very uplifting, and it's great to see the community come together for such a great cause. How many walkers do you think you have? We're hoping for a few hundred out really? there. We want everyone to bring their families out and just come out. It's going to be very family friendly. We're going to have a Splash from the Pelicans is going to be there. So he's going to be making an appearance. And our uh, Salty the Shark mascot is going to be there as well. And we're going to have a DJ and cupcakes for sailors. There's going to be a cupcake war afterwards. So lots of fun going on. A lot of on. fun stuff. Be there. Tell them what time you need to register. Register starting at 8 a.m. and the walk starts at 9. All right. That's right there at the Crown Reef Resort in Myrtle Beach. Julia, thank you for being with thank us. Thank you very much. Wish you a lot of luck tomorrow and hope you have a, raise a lot of money. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're celebrating National Donut Day. That is tomorrow, but guess what? We're celebrating a day in Krispy Kreme this year. We'll be right back. Happy Live. Tomorrow is National Donut Day, and Krispy Kreme's here. Miles and David sent a lot of donuts over, and I'm talking about unbelievable amount of donuts here, and Courtney's <laughs> here with me, and... Uh, Lord, we got, let's talk about some of the donuts first. Now, Krispy Kreme's been around since 1937. You got it. Started Absolutely. It where? In North Carolina, wasn't it? Winston-Salem, yes, sir. All right, you're that's you're great. right on it. And National Donut Day happens to be tomorrow, but the original one actually is in June, and that started back in 1938 from our good friends at the Salvation Army. So oh. it was actually to fundraise um, during the Great Depression. And of course, you know, we do a lot of fundraising. $39 million last year in 2015. So we do love to support our, our people and um, help fundraise. That's great when you do that in charities. And, you buy, and of course, here are the glazed ones right here that everybody looks for. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to have to start showing some of these donuts. We're going to start way over here and talk down here first. All right, sure. tell us what we got here. Well, we've got your chocolate cake. We've got Oreo, which is oh, yeah. wonderful. Um, up here, oh, let's that, go to go our beautiful holiday ones, if you can wow. get in that. Um, those haven't come out yet, but you will see them starting on Black Friday. So we got a so, taste of them today, though. That's of good. Of course. You guys right. are the first ones. And that also kind of goes with our um, new mug that we're doing, our Santa Bellies. Yeah, and um, over here, I don't yes. know if you can see it. I'm going to try to lift it up here where we can see it. Perfect. A football. 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 To go along with yeah. our Carolina Panthers, we've got <laughs> specialty cups in the store right now, which are a lot of fun. And um, we are counting down. We're actually going to have Cam Newton. Um, right now we have Matt, Mike Tolbert, which is a yeah. CCU guy. So yeah. that's always fun, too. All right, let's go up here. Yes, we've got um, those are our apple filled, which are delicious, and our mm -hmm. cinnamon. Our good old second place winner is our chocolate glaze or chocolate ice. But we do have some fun patriotic sprinkles, which <laughs> also leads me to election day. We're yes. going to make election day a little bit sweeter by giving everyone a free donut of their choice next Tuesday. Come out, bring your I voted um, sticker, and we're going to free have, donut. You got it. Well, free after donut. this election, we need a couple of free donuts. Absolutely. So, let's go over here. We got sprinkles. Party in a box right here. You got your sprinkles. Yep. You've got your cream filled. Oh, yes. Oreos again. And the one on the end here is our beautiful salted caramel latte. It's got an espresso filling, so it really is a fall flavor right now. It's delicious. Uh, Krispy Kreme makes how many different kind of flavors? What all they do? Oh, you know you're putting me on the spot. Right, it's, endless. Uh, it's endless. It's endless. I know it. You can go by and pick up your cups and all that, the Carolina Panther cups. The Krispy Kremes, all this, it's just so good. Tell Miles, everybody, David, I appreciate you coming. Absolutely. Courtney. Thanks for having us. Let me us. tell you, we got enough donuts to feed everybody <laughs> in the station. They brought them today. That's right. All Come right. on out and see us. Stay, Thanks so much. Stay with us. All right. No, we, we're going to wrap it now. This is it. Okay. All right. We've had a great time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Don't forget, you. if you need a big fundraiser, Krispy Kreme can always put it together for you. Okay. Everybody have a great weekend. Tell them bye, Courtney. We'll Take see care. you Monday. Have a great back here in the studio. Thanks a lot for being here, everybody. Bye bye.
Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW.